once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big forest. The wolf brothers wandered for days and nights, learning how to live on their own for the first time. They slept in the backwoods among creepy creatures and barely ate anything. They eventually found a peaceful orchard and were able to eat in peace. But they didn't know. Hunters tried to tie them up, but the wolf brothers managed to escape with the help of a friendly bear. He showed them how to survive and helped them find a warm camp for the night. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. That's how they found themselves even further, headed to the faraway land of their pop, where they hope to find peace. with this one. That one's too easy. Look. Don't brag. It was too heavy for you a few days ago. <sighs> Let's try to lift something else. Not too heavy, though. I'm a little tired. You could try and lift mushroom? What? Are you stupid? You want to hurt her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're probably right. Let's leave the puppy out of this. Sometimes, he looks so scared of himself. We need to work this through. How about that one? I can do it with the small rocks, but not the big ones. You can do this. Trust me. Just... Relax. Focus. I'll try. Holy shit! I did it! <laughs> like a boss. You're getting good at you this. You see that mushroom? That was the biggest rock ever.
Dude, it's getting late and cold. Let's get done with this practice session. Dude, it's getting late and cold. Let's get done with this practice. Tanya was learning so fast. Is this one too big? Yeah. It's just way too massive. Dude, it's getting late and cold. Let's get done with this practice session. How about those cans? Can you fly them all together without dropping any? Sure, look. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. You're getting way better at this. <laughs> Come on, dude. That's just the start. Let's try something else. Cool. You're like Coach Aaron. You're my power coach. A snowball fight? Not yet. This is a new exercise, young apprentice. See if you can stop this in the air. Cool? Okay, but you better not hit me. Like that time you gave me a bruise? Serious. You won't let me, right? Try it. Sorry, I thought you would stop it. Serious. Think fast! Stop! Whoa! Daniel! That's what you get! Happy? Hell yeah, I am. That was awesome. You did it, man. I did. So you better be nice to me. Hey, that still sounds nasty. You're not getting better. I told you. I'm fine. Just a little beat. Well, you need to rest now. Superhero. Can we go back now? Yeah. Let's just fill up the canteens before we head back. That cough has been going on for days, Daniel. I really don't like that. I told you. I'm fine. We've just been outside for a while. Here we go. The Hella Tanker is over the wildfire zone. Get ready for water extraction. Ranger Diaz. Nice work, Daniel. Glad to see our training sessions are paying off. Thanks to you. So glad I don't have to touch that water. It's too fucking cold. Uh, 
Oops. Sorry. I said fucking. <laughs> it's fine out here. There's no one to hear you curse. Say whatever the fuck you want. Cool. <coughs> what? What did you find, Shroom? Poor bunnies alone. Finding that house was a miracle. But I'm afraid we can't stay here much longer. <sighs> we really nailed it with this two headed snow ogre. Yeah. They're. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel's definition of a cool snowman. <sighs> I like it. Sorry, guys. We don't take any more guests. Daniel's getting cold. Let's get inside and warm him up. Don't worry, we'll make a fire. We're pros now. <coughs> Dude, that cough doesn't sound too good. Nah, uh, I'm okay. Just cold. You kicked ass today. <laughs> Level up. I did. That was so cool. It's getting easier every day. Oh no, Sean. This is a haunted house. More like, uh-oh, it's time to go over the rules. I told you about showing off. I was just... Whatever. Dude, I know the rules. Let's find out. What's the first one? Mm -hmm. Hide your power. If you spin one plate in a diner, what happens? People will freak out. And when people freak, what do they do? They call the cops. Exactly. The second rule is... Don't, uh... Never talk about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice, Daniel. Because that's usually the hardest rule for you. <sighs> Shut up. <laughs> and the final rule? I know. Come on. Um... You can do it. Okay. Um... Avoid danger? Run from danger. This is the most important one. You know why? Uh, I don't know. I mean, with my power, I can help us. Only as a total last resort. How will I know that? If there's any other way of helping, do that first. Maybe if I had used it before, Dad might still be here. Daniel, you didn't even know. That shit was out of your control. But look what happened to the policeman. Maybe this power is a curse. Or... Something. Hey. We have no clue what happened. And it's not your fault. <coughs> Don't worry, Mushroom. I'm okay. Good puppy. <sighs> she must be hungry. What about you? I'm always hungry. <laughs> then let's grub out. I'll make us some dinner. <laughs> yeah. Before she eats us.
like a robot ready for takeoff. Three, two, one. Hey, Shroom. You thirsty? <laughs> Good girl. Daniel must have been pissed that day. Don't blame him. Space scuba is hovering on a dead planet. There was a little bit left when we came. Pretty disgusting, but helps staying what warm. What thing do you have in mind today? This thing is strong as a rock. Where did I put my lighter? We scored with these clothes. Plus five street cred. Wish I had more than tobacco, to be honest. This thing is strong as a rock. This room is fucking cold, so... We put everything we didn't need in it and... Keep it closed. We never found the key to this door. I guess using the sliding door is cool. Can't believe how much Daniel's powers have improved over the last weeks. I wonder how far it can go. Feels almost good to be cut off from everything. Yep, no more indoor training sessions. At least we have fresh water in our front yard. Pro tip, always boil the water. Unless you want Daniel spraying nasty things on both ends. Kinda weird to use stranger stuff every day, but not like we have a choice. I hate it when I hear Daniel crying at night. 
I can't do shit. Is that the same from the previous days? Hey, look. Her buddy Raccoon is back. I got my eyes on him. He stole mushrooms ravioli yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Next time we'll call the forest cops. You whiskered thug. We're so lucky this thing is still working. Wouldn't have lasted long without E. We really lucked out stumbling into this house. I wish I helped Dad more with the house chores back then. Daniel's cold is getting worse. We never found the key to this door. I guess using the sliding door is cool. Thanks, Hank. Dickhead. Daniel's been sick for more than a week. And it keeps getting worse. No way I can give any of these to Daniel. Too risky. Last night I used my lighter for the candles, so it shouldn't be far. We scored with these clothes. Plus five street cred. I think I could get used to living like this. Quiet, free. High school feels so far away now. Let's go, bro. The guy who came here sure had time to kill. This house is cool, but it doesn't help with Daniel's health. Kind of weird to use stranger stuff every day, but not like we have a choice. Can't light that fire without my lighter. Huh. Maybe one day.
to get warm. Here we go. Hold on, Mushroom. We're gonna build a fire. Dang, I am starving. We're so lucky this thing is still working. Wouldn't have lasted long without E, because it's time to start cooking. Yum. Too bad I can't make a pizza fly to us. I could start Daniel's delivery service. This hot dog mm. man is yours. Tough okay. choice. <coughs> Better talk to Daniel after dinner. Hey, what are you cooking? Oh, I'm sorry. Here's your menu choices. Ravioli or ravioli? This sucks. I can't <sighs> so tired of eating this. the same shit. I just want one slice of pizza. <laughs> Dude, you'll be moving cars around in no time if you keep improving like that. Mm, you really did so? Well... That'd be a bad idea, but you sure are getting good at this. I wonder if there's anyone else like me. Mm, I think we'd know it by now. He looks so serious on this picture. I still can't believe he's gone. I miss him so much, it hurts, Sean. I know. Daniel. It's okay to think about him. I do it too. Okay. Thanks, Sean. Hmm. Daniel needs to eat something after all that psychic crap. Poor guy. I guess kids have to grow up anyway, right? Nah, it's not ready yet. I'm a ravioli expert now. <laughs> of course. He's the town fucking hero now. Wonder where Brody is now. Oh yeah. No internet. I'm used to ink, so this will be different. 
dead for a week. But at least we got some news. <sighs> no excuse not to binge read. Yeah. Daniel doesn't need to see this. Gotta love one hit wonders. Kinda reminds me of Dad's cheesy posters. No way I'm touching that. Man, I miss listening to music so fucking much. Daniel loves his brand new tablet. <sighs> okay, dinner's ready. Sick of ravioli. This is real food. It's better than nothing. I'm just tired of the same thing. Do you want it, mushroom? Bon appetit, Mushroom. Man, she loves this stuff. <coughs> Sorry, I'm cool. Hold on. I need to show you something. Um, okay. Gotta show him the map. I think I left it with my books. Mm. Nothing here. Daniel, what did you do with the map? Hmm. What do you mean? You know what I mean. Where's the map that was with my stuff? I don't know. I'm not keeping track of your things. Kid, where did he put it? <sighs> okay, come on, doggy. Let's go, girl.
Hey, man. Can you call your dog? I don't exist. Mushroom, come here, girl. <sighs> what a great team. Time to play dad, dog. Hmm. I could do a super cool manga about Daniel. Sean! There's someone at the door! What the? What mother of... Daniel! <laughs> Got you! <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Okay. I think it's time for us to hit the road. You're not getting better. We're almost out of supplies. No. I'm okay. <coughs> it's just a cough. Yeah, a bad cough that won't go away. Trust me, Daniel. You need some medicine. Look. Here. Beaver Creek? What's that? That's where Karen's parents... Our grandparents live. Okay. So what? So we can go there and... They'll probably help us. Why do you always force us to run, Sean? What if they don't like me? They're family, right? Plus they owe us for what Karen... for what Mom did. Um... You sure? It would be cool to spend Christmas with our grandparents. Man, they're gonna love you. Grandpa's super cool and... I'm sure you guys will be best buds. Well... Okay. But Mushroom has to agree, too. She's part of the team. What do you say, girl? <laughs> okay, when? Tomorrow. The sooner the better. We have a long road ahead. Hmm... We should do something fun for our last night here. How about a game of dice? If I win, I get to draw on your backpack. You know I'm gonna win and draw a dick on your bag, right? <laughs> I don't think so, pussy. Party time. Okay, ready to lose, Captain? Watch your butt, matey. Here we go. Just need a six, a five, and a four. Come on. I need a ship. <laughs> Too bad. I need a ship. Give me a six. Yes, full ship. This ship is mine. <laughs> Captain's ready to rule. This is my last chance. Don't fail me. Yay. No full ship. No score. The dice are yours. Nice. All right. I just need a four now. Yes, ship, captain, and crew. I need the score now. Pretty please. Cool. Mm, not bad. 
Come on, my turn. Can I get something better this time? Okay. Got his... What the hell? I wonder what we would have done if we didn't find these dice. I don't know. Probably read all these books. Uh, boring. You remember that time I beat Dad at chess? <laughs> you mean we beat Dad? Yeah, you did help me distract them. <laughs> I bet he would have liked this game. <sighs> Definitely. He was a great pirate. Just like us. Captain Diaz, King of the Seas. What? Come on. Sit, please. Sit. Got a ship now. Do you think Grandma and Grandpa will have a console? Uh, I don't think so, dude. Sorry. No biggie. I like playing dice and stuff, too. Whoa. Daniel the big nerd. Getting sick of screens. No way. And I win. Do you know what it means? <sighs> yeah, okay. You won it. Here's my bag. Mmm. Let's see. A poop? Really? Yeah, it suits you. Well, thank you very much. So, let's do another one? It's bedtime. Gotta get up early. I'm gonna finish my comic book. She has to pee. Okay, okay. I'll take her out for a walk. You're going to smoke. It smells like ass. You're right. Don't smoke. But it's our last night, so we can do anything. <sighs> all right, all right. I heard you the first time, dude.
Hey, Daniel. How are you doing? It sucks. I'm coming. Mushroom wants to go out. Don't you hear? Yeah, sorry. Move. So, what's going on? It doesn't fit in. There's too much stuff. It's fucking bullshit. Hey, cool down. It's gonna be okay. I know, but... What did you pack in? What the f... <sighs> Dude, you can't fit the whole room in. Don't worry. Your super strong big brother can help. Awesome. Thanks, Sean. Well, looks like we're almost set. Where's Mushroom? Still peeing, I guess? I'm gonna check what she's up to. <sighs> okay, I'll fill up our bottles and I'll catch up with you guys. Okay, all done. Where the hell is he? Daniel! Daniel! Hey, you out here? Daniel! Where is he? We have a two-day walk ahead of us. Better get going. Daniel? Where are you? <sighs> what are they doing? We have to... What the fuck happened here? Not good. <sighs> Daniel? Okay? Listen. Leave me alone! No! Go away! Go! Oh. 
I'm so sorry. It just wouldn't have changed anything to kill it. I'm right here. It's all right. Here, you should do it. That's it. It's bullshit. I can't even bury her. Well. Unless you want to say something. Uh, goodbye, Mushroom. You were such a good puppy. I'll always remember. Running through the snow with you. And how you... You snuggled. And... I'll never forget you. Never. Girl, rest in peace. You won't be forgotten. Sean, do you think she's up in heaven with Dad? <sighs> yeah, I'm sure he will look after her. About his allergies. Don't worry, Nana. There's no allergies up there. They'll be fine together. Okay. We should go. It's getting late. Okay. I wish we didn't have to go. I'd like having a house again. Come on. Let's hit the road. What about my traps? Should we leave them up? <laughs> They'll protect the next runaways that stay here. I put both you in charge of the house mushroom. <laughs> so long.
We made it, Daniel. It's been a long time since I was here. When was that? Before you were born. Come here. Let me check you out. Claire likes everything super clean. Dad said she got pissed because he let me bring a snowball in the house. We don't want to look like total pigs. What if they went on vacation? Or, or something? We'll figure out something. I'm sorry, we don't want any of... Hello, Claire. Sean? Oh, my. Is that... Daniel? What's going on out here? I heard... Look who's here! After all this time. What the hell are you doing here? Stephen, watch your mouth. Well... It's kind of a long story. <coughs> oh, you poor thing. You know he's sick, right? Yeah, but... Okay, inside. Both of you. Is it, uh, warm enough for you? Oh, yeah. Feels nice and toasty. I gave Daniel some cough medicine, but you should have taken better care of him. He could have been worse. You were lucky. Stephen, may I talk to you for a second? Shit. I'm so hungry, my belly hurts. Oh, Stephen. <sighs> Fuck. Did I make a mistake coming here? I... remember that. I think it used to be in the living room. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Do we really want to involve other people? <sighs> Feels so awkward to be here. Children are mortified the police for murder. I know. Why 
if Sean is guilty, sleeping in our home next to us. Let's, let's just ask him what happened, and we'll figure something out. Okay? All right, Stephen. You all right, honey? You want more tea? Thanks. I'm good. Uh, well, Sean, uh, do you want to talk about... Uh, uh... The police called us a few weeks ago. They're looking for you as suspects in a homicide and for assault and robbery in a gas station? Now, it if you want us to help you, did you hurt that police officer in Seattle? I don't know. I swear I don't. Too much happened and I'm trying to figure it out, but all I know is that he shot dead. And now he's gone. Oh, sweetie. We are so sorry for what happened to your father, but why did you run away if you're innocent? I didn't want Daniel to see Dad. Like that. I felt like I had to protect him. I understand. You know the police would separate us. Maybe forever. Daniel would end up in foster care. Uh, you, you can't be sure, Sean. Anyway, uh, at least you've managed to come here alive. We're glad you two are okay. I hate to think what could have happened to both of you. You need to think of long-term solutions now. I tried. I swear. But I can't do everything. So... What are your plans? <sighs> Go down to Mexico. To Puerto Lobos. Dad has a family house there. Sean, you can't run away from the law like, like fugitives. How can you look out for your brother if you're both running from the police? You two are going to stay with us. Oh, Stephen. Maybe we should... After your mother left, your dad never really wanted us in your life. I can't blame him, but you're still part of our family, and uh, we want to prove it, okay? Whoa, really? Uh, uh, aren't you scared? The police already called you. Lordy, yes. But we were also scared for you. That's why you'll have to be careful around here. Beaver Creek is small, and... Nosy. We can stay? Serious? Awesome! Ooh, Sean, guess what? There's a huge model train upstairs. Hey, you're supposed to be resting, young man. <laughs> yeah, yes he is. But he seems better already. Anyway, you and Daniel will stay here. At least until Daniel's better. We'll see what happens next. So, I bet you're hungry. Let me fix you something.
How do you feel, Superwolf? Way better. It's nice and warm in here. And the food? Yum. Yeah. Feels good. Feeling better? You look cozy. Yeah. I love that bed. Mm. Thanks, Grandma. Good. Your temperature is down. I'm way better now. You still need to take it easy. How about if we say a little prayer and, and give thanks? It's like a bedtime story, right? Well, this is a bit like this, yes. Except the story comes from up there. <laughs> the ceiling. <laughs> so are we ready to pray? Just follow my lead. Sure. We need all the help we can get. Can you ask the blessed dad? And Sean. Um, and Mushroom. And you and Grandpa. And, uh, everybody else. Oh my, you are so sweet. Thank you, Lord for bringing Sean and Daniel safe and sound into our house. Take care of Esteban and, uh, Mushroom. Please, give us the strength to get over the hardships of the past and the trials yet to come. Amen. 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 Okay, it's bedtime. Try to get some rest. You still need it. And no roughhousing in here. No worries. We're too tired. Good night. Oh, and thanks again. Good night, Grandma. It feels so nice to have a bed again. And the bathroom. I hear that. Plus, you don't smell anymore. Whatever. Well, Claire seems pretty caring. And nice. I guess Steven is too. I hope we'll be fine here. I think so. And the more important thing is you'll have time to get better. Sean, are we in Mom's old room? Nah, I don't think this is the one. Not from what I remember. But it's been a while. Could we check it out tomorrow? Maybe find some of her stuff? Why would you want to do that? I just don't know anything about her. Daniel, I understand. But we need to focus on where we are now and where we're off to. Mom left us. She made her choice. We gotta make ours. And we can't keep going back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I guess. Hey, man. You've been doing so great with your... Well, you know, I was wondering, how do you do it? Uh, I don't know. I concentrate and it just happens. So, it makes you feel strong? Like, special and mighty? I don't think that. I don't know how I feel. Why are you asking? Never mind. Just curious. Forget I asked anything. Anyway, remember the rules, right? We really don't want Claire or Stephen to start asking questions. I know, I know. Don't show, don't talk. Just keep that in mind and everything should be fine. 
Sleep tight. Little cub. I could sleep all day long in this bed, but I'm way too hungry. All right, I'm allowed to go out now. Glad they get along. So okay. <sighs> What's up? Ah, look who's here. But uh, you're too late for the 915 Express. <laughs> um, it's okay. I'll take the next one. It will leave after breakfast. Don't be late this time. <laughs> I won't. Oh my, look who's awake. Good morning, sleepyhead. Daniel, mm. breakfast time. Your brother is ready. <sighs> Grandpa showed me a bald star. Steven, your grandson needs to eat now. You can show him the boxcar later. I love how they're getting along. Do you need help or anything? Oh, don't worry. I can do this in the dark. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. All right, all right. Are you boys done playing? We had an express delivery with the passengers. But the engine broke down. Yep, has to go straight to the workshop. Good. No trains in the kitchen, remember? Gotcha, Chief. Choo-choo! <laughs> oh, sugar. He can fix his trains, but not my kitchen. Did I make enough? Everything's okay? It's great, as usual. You're the best cook ever. Looks like you're getting cozy with this new country life after all. Yeah, it's nice to be far away from everything. Feels like we're the only ones out here. Well, that's exactly why we love it. It feels safe, unlike the big city. I get it. I like it. It's cool here. Well, bless your soul. You'd get along good with our neighbors. We try to lend a hand, like to Charles next door. He lost his wife, and things have been hard on him and his son. He would just get lost in Seattle. 
But we're all taking care of him here. How old is his son? I, I think he's your age. Ooh, cool. going on back there? Nothing. Oh, and I thought Stephen was a fast eater. Hey, Grandma, I wanted to ask you something about that locked room upstairs. I told you there is nothing to see in it, Daniel. Why were you in it this morning, then? Because there's a lot of old junk in there. And Besides, it's not safe for you to explore, okay? <sighs> this is bullshit. Daniel, language. Why don't you go explore outside? You sure look like you're getting better. Get some fresh air. I'll wait for Sean, and then we'll go. We won't be loud. Promise. But be careful nobody sees you. Stay in the back, okay? Maybe you should tell him that it was Karen's room. And maybe you should tell him to watch his mouth. It's just a room now, Sean. Nothing to see. Daniel needs that. He doesn't know anything about her. I know, poor thing. But his mother isn't in there anymore. So nobody goes in the room, okay? I'm serious. Did Mom ever contact you? She only talked to Dad a few times. Then she was gone. <sighs> yes, she was. You know, Sean, I don't really want to talk about this anymore. It's over, anyway. You have to respect my rules under my roof, okay? Of course. Always. I appreciate that, Sean. Now you better go find your brother. There's a shed with some old toys outside. I'll bet Stephen has the key. Danny will freak. Thank you. Yeah, pretty different from the one we had back at home. Sorry for getting upset, Sean. I, I just don't feel comfortable talking about it. Oh, this looks cool. <sighs> Too bad it's broken. It's... It's fine, really. We don't have to. Tried one of Claire's books yesterday. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. Thank you for tidying up a little. It's nice of you. Yeah. No problem. 
I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. Weave kindness into your daily narrative. Beautiful. Hmm. Think I need a handy assistant. Can you... Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I've, I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just... Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but... Uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. Yeah, it happens all the time. So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? sure how to put it like some kind of invisible force like the holy gift or something um yeah daniel likes to pretend he's got superpowers but that's it that's it okay but be careful sean you know he's still so young sure and by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... Thanks. Maybe we could, but... <sighs> Why not? I know, being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but... This is your home now. <laughs> it's cool. Kinda different, but... I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids. Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh... Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. <clears throat> Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. It's good to see you in my... There you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thanks so much. Feel free to keep on tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep the house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah, and remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. 
Hey, Daniel. There's work for you. Uh, no. I'm busy. D busy my ass. Come over here. <laughs> you gotta find me first. <sighs> Jeez. I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. Clean kitchen equals clean conscience. It's cool that Claire does her little paintings. I wonder where this was taken. I don't picture Claire and Steven as world travelers. I don't remember much from the last time I came here. Hey, um, have you seen Daniel? He's hiding somewhere. <laughs> Running away from chores. I can relate. Sorry, Sean, he's, he's not in here. I swear. <sighs> yeah, well, thanks. Where the hell is he hiding? Oh. Gee, don't know why crooked frames stress me out like this. <sighs> Better not sneak in. They won't like it. I know you're in there. Gotcha! What the? Yeah, very funny. No more hiding. Seriously. Okay, okay. What do I have to do? You tidy the mess in our room, and I take care of the laundry. Cool? Again? We always have to clean everything. I don't wanna. Yeah, I hear you. Never mind, okay? Cool. Thanks, Sean. Oh, man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? All right. Let's get it over with.
All right. Time to take care of that laundry. <sighs> Thanks, Claire. Sean, quick! Look at this fish! It's so beautiful. I haven't seen any actual fish in there since we got here. Dude, come on! I told you there's a fish in it. Whoa. Look at all these decorations. That's so cool. How many programs does this thing have? Okay. It will do. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Boring laundry, done. Time for fresh air. <laughs> okay, time to burn off some calories. What do you say? Ha <laughs> ha, yes. to be outside. Reminds me of the cabin. Right? Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow! Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Watch out for the pack. <laughs> Get ready for storage wars. What's wrong? <sighs> Frozen shut. <sighs> of course. Sean, look! Um, see what? We just got here. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything either. Uh, uh, oh, oh, okay. I just fell down into the snow. Dad says I'm kind of clumsy. That's an awesome costume. Who's your favorite superhero? I love Power, Power Bear. Bear. <laughs> Oh, man! I have the Mega Power Bear. You should check it out. Dude, that's so cool. Chris, oh, God. Look, I, I am so sorry. Are you okay? Uh, Dad, I'm fine. I promise. Uh, are you sure? Listen, I shouldn't... Do you know them? It it's okay, Dad. They're cool. He loves superheroes, even Power Bear. Ah. Uh. Gotcha. Hey there. Are you staying with the Reynolds? Um, yeah. Uh, but not for long. We're just passing by. I see. 
Oh, jeez, Chris. You don't have any damn shoes on. I'm sorry, buddy. Let's get you inside. I... Uh, yeah. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Oh, and, uh... If Claire asks, tell her everything is fine. Sure. Uh, no problem. Cool. See you around, then. Thanks, guys. See you later? Yes, we will. <sighs> Daniel, did you forget everything about the rules already? Sorry, Sean. Did you want me to let him fall? Really? <sighs> no, you... You did the right thing. But listen, we can't let anybody know. We have to keep a low pro- He's like my age. I bet you would have done the same exact thing. Don't be mad. I'm not mad, dude. It's... It's over. Daniel, remember that we're hiding out. So no training and no showing off your power. From now on, you stick with me all the time, okay? Fuck. That kid never listens. Okay. Time to get Daniel at the Ericsons. Claire? Steven? Anybody home? Well, I guess they won't be back for at least two hours. Maybe I could use Steven's laptop? It's been ages since I've had news from the real world. Okay, let's get this Brack back home now. <sighs> Why does Daniel never listen? Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Crazy, but I have a superpower. You saw me yesterday. I know you did. I was flying. I can move things, objects, with my mind. Oh, 
A superpower? Really? Yes. Well, that's pretty cool, Chris. So, you're like a superhero? I'm Captain Spirit. I can bend any matter to my will. But that's my secret identity, so you can't tell anybody. Oh, I can keep a secret, Captain Spirit. Now you're an official member of the Spirit Squad. If you betray us, I'll disintegrate you. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Oh yeah, we need a... Team Signal. Totally. I'm gonna be... Super Wolf. What's your super name, Sean? I don't know. Something cool like... El Diez Blo Loco. Mm, sounds like a supervillain's name, but okay. Okay, guys, I think we're ready to roll. Uh, excuse me. Who are you? I'm Sean. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, man. You're here for Daniel. Hey, let's make it official. I'm Charles Erickson. Nice to meet you. Hope you know that Daniel and Chris are a dangerous team. We better watch out. Or they're gonna take over the world. Yeah. They share a lot of things. As thick as thieves. Can we go get the Christmas tree now? We're both ready to fly. Yes, yes, yes. The, the team has been waiting too long. Hey, you should come along too. There's nothing going on over here. Yes! Can't wait to see all the decorations. And Sean, we could buy Christmas presents for Grandma and Grandpa. Um, okay, sure. I'll go with you guys. Really? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah, I just wish Chris and Daniel were excited about going. Okay, team, uh, give me a time out to clean up the back seat. I'll honk when I'm done. Ooh, uh, can I use the bathroom? Of course. Oh, you'll see my comic books. I'm glad you're coming, too. Hey, you want to see my toys? Oh, score! The new hot dog man? Since you're a new member of the team, you have to know everybody. These are Captain Spirit's friends and his enemies. Dude, that's pretty cool. Can you guess who are the good guys and the villains? Let's see. Interesting. Careful. It may be tricky. You sure? Okay. How did I do? You're not a very good observer. Okay, let me introduce them to you. This is Team Spirit, the good guys. There's the Forest Warrior, Power Bear, Marty Rex, and Sky Pirate. So, who are the bad guys? That's Noctarius and the Shark Stinger. There's also Snowmancer, but he's out in the garden. Captain Spirit kinda took care of him. He might need a little surgery now. But they're all working for Mantroy, who is the real supervillain. You should see his evil planet. Why doesn't Captain Spirit stop him? He tried, but failed. That's why he needs Super Wolf, you know, Daniel, to prevent Mantroid from hurting other people. <laughs> yeah, strength in numbers. Sounds like Mantroid is in trouble. Just wait until he sees what Captain Spirit can do now. Yeah, about that. Aren't you afraid? Maybe 
It's not a good idea to disclose all your powers like this. That Mantroid guy could be... watching you, you know? Even better. So he'll know he better stay away from us. Anyway, you shouldn't let anyone know about this. Not even your father. I'm definitely not telling Dad. I don't want to freak him out. He's worried about other stuff anyway. Well, your dad is cool. He totally hooked you up with that treehouse. Yeah, he let Steven build it for me. It's my flying fortress. <laughs> I bet. There's no stopping him from building things. Well, Captain Spirit had to help him, of course. <laughs> Obviously. All hail Captain Spirit. The first and only Carpenter Vigilante. There's the signal. Come on, Daniel. Hey! Pro tip. Don't go in there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, squad. Let's roll. You need my jacket? I don't want you catching another cold. No, I'm good. Thanks. And don't be waving your arms around when I'm driving, okay? <laughs> yeah. Um, remember, Daniel, don't mess around. All right. Jeez. Thanks for clearing the snow from the porch. You're, you're awesome. You're welcome, Dad. Okay, buddy. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> hey! You guys go ahead and we'll come back to meet you, okay? Brothers meeting. Sure. But... Don't get lost. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? I can't believe it. How many times do we have to keep going over the rules? Don't show the power. I know. But Chris thinks he can do all this cool stuff. I wish he could. He reminds me of Noah. I just miss having friends, Sean. Listen, I understand, but we have to be extra careful out here. You can't let people see you. You know the rules. Yes, I know the rules, but I'm careful. I only do things when it's me and Chris. Nobody sees us. Yeah, nobody but me. What if it was Chris's dad? Or grandma? Or a cop? Or... Okay, okay. I get it. But I'm careful. That's not enough. You have to be extra, extra careful. All right. I swear I will. Deal. I'm counting on you, and I know. Can I go see Chris now? Yeah, let's go. But don't forget what I said. Wow, so many trees. Ugh. Did you come 
coming, Sean? <sighs> Don't worry. I'll be around. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing. I'll tell you later. So, what do we do? We have to pick the one we like. Can Daniel help, Dad? <laughs> of course he can. Awesome. Come on, no time to lose. <sighs> okay, just pick the one you like and come get me. <sighs> Jeez. Daniel Snowman wasn't that creepy after all. These wild trees are just waiting to eat us. We'll have to tame the one we want. What about this one? Hmm. Too thin. You're right. We a strong tree to protect our base from evil <laughs> elves. Looks like someone went nuts over these blocks. Let's look at another one. <coughs> Ooh. Hi. Everything all right? All good. Quiet morning as usual. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> the guy who painted that. He must have been seriously high. my truck, so don't worry. It's not much, but she probably needs it more than me right now. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Hey. Hi. Good morning, young man. It's nice to see a new face in this old town. Thanks. It's a super cool market you got here. Small towns are the best for Christmas. Who are you staying with? We're just passing through, so, uh, at a motel. Well, I saw you speaking with Charles, so I thought... Oh, we're not related. My brother Daniel's friends with Chris. Gotcha. Huh? I like his son. Funny little guy. Despite everything. Anyway, welcome to Beaver Creek. If you need anything, just holler. We only sell handmade local products. Come take a look. You won't find better deals in Beaver Creek. Um, I'd like one of those snowman things. Of course. They're handmade by local kids. Cool. Here you go. Thanks. Anything else? No. I'm good. Have a nice day, then. Yeah, you too. Thanks. Cool. Mission accomplished. We better leave now, before Claire and Steven come back. Hmm. The best Quiet Christmas morning. wreaths are here. Decorate your front doors with something truly special.
Found what you were looking for, city boy? Um, yeah. Something for my little brother. You bought your brother something out here. Damn. <laughs> Poor kid. Sorry. I'm just a grumpy old gal. <laughs> Me and my friends have been crashing here for the week. Nobody gives a shit about us. Yeah, I can tell you're not from around here. <laughs> no, no way. Just here for the holidays. Ah, you got family. My grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love the grandparents. What about you and your friends? Road trip? Uh, <laughs> not really. We kind of hop from place to place, hunting for little jobs. And... <sighs> Must be a long ride. That's okay. We hop. On trains. Gives us time to rest. Damn. That sounds kind of dangerous. <laughs> Not really. If you can run and jump, you're pretty much good to go. Well, unless you get caught or fall, but we've been lucky so far. That's the best. Nobody tells us what to do. No corporation owns us. <sighs> And you get to see so many cool places. Exactly. Next stop is Humboldt County, California. <laughs> Stoner break. Not even close. We actually got work over there. Sean, what are you doing? We've hit the tree with Chris. It's all crooked like an old witch. Oh, hi. Who are you? Ooh, your hair looks so cool. Is it a wig? Uh, well. What do you think? Hmm. I don't know, but it's really cool. I'm Daniel. What's your name? Hi, Daniel. I'm Cassidy. I dig your superhero outfit. I'm on a secret mission with my friend. It's very dangerous. I can tell. I hope you get your mission accomplished. <laughs> and what's your name? Oh, uh, Sean. I... I thought I told you. Now you did. Sorry, you went through some shit with the guys. How much you make? You ready? Hello, pups. Ooh, is that your doggy? So cool. Yeah, he's been through a lot. Like most of us. So we adopted him. And he stinks. Yeah, you stink and you like it, huh? <laughs> He's not the only one. Have you checked your hair? I think it just twitched. You should keep your distance, dude. Hey, never too careful. Who knows what may crawl out of the air? <laughs> oh, the froze joined forces. You're already perverting him, Finn. Sorry. I know suburban boys is your thing. Are you kidding? You want to talk about your scoreboard, Hotshot? Hey, no worries. Come on, let's bail. It was nice meeting you, Sean and Daniel. Stay out of trouble, Goodbye. kids. Hope we see you on the rails someday. Yeah. See you around. That doggy was so cute. I miss Mushroom. I miss her, too. Hey, excuse me. Dogs have to be on a leash around here. Too many strays. <laughs> Sorry, dude. We don't do leashes. Well, the city does. An unleashed dog is liable to a fine, so... Uh, you're gonna fine our dog? Well, that's not very nice. Loitering is illegal, too. And you don't live here, right? Right? Calm down, sweetie. We're allowed to visit the Christmas market. My dog's not gonna eat you. Look at him. You better watch your mouth. You punks are always causing trouble. This is a nice town, okay? Jeez. Someone needs to get laid. <laughs> He's out of pills. That's it. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> oh, God. He's gonna call the cops on us, Finn. Chill out. We're leaving this shithole anyway. 
You guys don't even have a Santa, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Fucking parasites. Why did they fight? I don't get why he yelled like that. We should kick his ass, Sean. See the snow on that booth? Yeah. What about it? Maybe this guy needs a shower. You know? To cool him down. <laughs> You're right. Hold on. Careful. Careful. <laughs> this will teach him. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Ugh. They're pretty. So cool. Hey, you guys ready to go? Yeah. All done. Cool. <laughs> Hop in. Are you having too much fun back there? Yeah. That's what I thought. Looks like Daniel found a new brother. <laughs> no kidding. He dumped me like a rock. I'm glad you two came along. It's great that Chris found a new friend out here. It looks like you did too. What's her name? Um... Cassidy? Cassidy. Cute name. Do you like her? She was cool. You're too quick! Ah! But anyway... Got ya! <laughs> it's good for me to get out, too. Um, we've had a rough time over the past couple of years. My wife, Emily... She died two years ago. Obviously... Uh, it was tough on Chris. Shit. Uh, I'm sorry, man. Thanks. It's been a struggle, especially trying to be a good dad. You're doing your best. Chris is awesome. And he's got a wonderful imagination. Well, thanks for saying that. Chris does have talent. He's a storyteller. I see that. Just like Daniel. You two seem to get along well. <laughs> I mean, you really look out for him. I realize I'm far from being up to the task. Chris deserves <laughs> a real family. Anyway, I shouldn't have brought this up. Okay, forget it. No worries.
worries. Didn't mean to make you feel bad. We all have our ups and downs, right? That's how life works. Your grandparents sure did have their share of downs, too. But they're always there for us. For Chris. They seem like good people. They're so nice, but... Yeah, they have their problems, too. Sorry for bringing that up. It's okay. I hope they don't stress out because we haven't come back. Uh, yeah, we should get you two home. Uh, don't keep them waiting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, Want to set up that Christmas tree? Yeah! Well, I'll get there before you with my dad mobile. <laughs> no way you can be Captain Spirit. <laughs> See you later, Super Wolf. Hello? Hello? Claire? Steven? Looks like Grandma and Grandpa haven't come back from church yet. Well, at least they won't yell at us for going out. That was so cool to spend time with Chris at the market. Did you know Chris's mom was an artist? I didn't. How so? She drew comics. You should see her drawings. They're so cool. Just like yours. Thanks, dude. Hey. Uh... What? What is it? Sean? I want to go check on the room. Upstairs. I know it's Mom's. Please. Daniel, you heard Claire. They will freak out if they know we went inside. We won't tell them. We'll be in total stealth mode. They won't know anything if we make it quick. It's just... I really want to know what's inside. What kind of stuff she had. Chris has tons of things that belong to his mom. And I have nothing. Come on, Sean. You don't even have to come with me. If you don't want to. <sighs> Fuck it. I'll come with you. So you don't make a mess and get us caught. We'll find a way to open it. Or I could just blow this stupid door up with my power. That looks super easy. <sighs> yeah. I could do that with a hammer, but let's try and find the key instead, all right? I'm just gonna clean up real quick. Sharp objects. <laughs> Bit like Claire. <sighs> Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Definitely not the one. Way too small. But let's see what it opens. <laughs> How much more Irish can you be? Yeah, no. No way I'm searching Claire's underwear. Sean, hurry up. You might come back any minute. Yes, Daniel. I know. Whoa. I'm just looking for a key. Not the crown jewels. Ew. Are these... milk teeth? I'm not sure if it's gross or cute. But still. No key here. Shit. These are Christmas presents? Let's not tell Daniel. 
Or you'd freak. I saw Grandma coming up. Clothes, old stuff. But definitely no hidden key. That would have been really useful when we lived in the woods. Karen's smile on this picture kind of reminds me of Daniel's. Small town hero starter pack. Oh, shit. Would be cool to ask Steven about his firefighting career. He must have had tons of things to tell. What was... <sighs> okay, Steven. Where do you hide this key? I don't really see Steven listening to old-school pop rock music. <sighs> we clearly don't share politics, but... At least Steven doesn't preach. Yeah, not much to see in here. Come on, little key. Don't be shy. Sean, what's taking? So long. I can't find the key, Daniel. Then let's just blow this stupid door. <sighs> Karen hated collecting trinkets. She used to say they were just useless dust traps. <laughs> Love the outfits, guys. <sighs> Man, he looks so different. So young. <sighs> Who knew this sweet little muffin would turn into such a brat? <sighs> Still super cute, though. Sean? You coming or what? I swear. I'm gonna open the store. <sighs> we have to get into that room before they come back. Yep, it's empty.
This whole house is pretty much a huge washing machine. Hey, I think that's the cardigan Claire was wearing yesterday. Yes. I found one key, so it better fit. Just try it. There's not that much left. Where do you think they put the rest of her stuff? It's her teenage room. I'm sure she sorted through her things before leaving for Seattle. The rest is probably pet. These pictures are so random. The rest is probably packed in these boxes. Yeah, you finally left forever. Coward. Is that an amethyst? She was into New Age bullshit. Man, that pen pal sure loved listening to her own voice. Well, figures Karen was already looking for an exit. <sighs> Guess the no phone rule wasn't such a thing back then. Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? <sighs> Read a lot of these in the 10th grade. <sighs> Yawn. Hope you enjoy- Okay, Daniel. You've seen everything you wanted to see? Claire and Steven will be home soon now. Just... Karen liked to take pictures of strangers when we walked down the street. I don't know. I don't think she used any perfume. From what I remember. Oh. I think I saw a moon eclipse once. Before Daniel was born. Why would they remove all the pictures? Never been a big fan of hiking. But here I was. Because I miss my skateboard. Yeah. And going to the park the same thing too. with Never Lila. Any picture of mom in our home. They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hm. I can relate. Where are these sunglasses? They're not sun. They want to forget anything related to Karen. Hm. 
I can relate. They're not sunglasses, man. It's to look at the sun during eclipses. eclipses. It's like she almost never used those. You know, when the sun hides. I think I remember that one. Karen showed it to me once. You... Ulysses? Ulysses. You know, when the sun hides behind the moon. Oh, yeah. That must be so cool to watch. Did she tell you why she left? She... Hope you... She told Dad and... Dad told me. Hi, Teddy Bear. He told you too. This playlist is boring as hell. She told Dad and... Dad told me. He told you too. Right? All he ever said to me was she wasn't so sure what she wanted with her life. Well, I guess she finally figured it so, out. So, you were a friend because of my mom's? she mommy's? never looked back. And we have to do the same thing too. I know. I hope she took good care of you. They looked happy. How could she send all of this to hell? Did she take you with her when she went on trips? I wonder my mom loved it so much. I think it's not plugged. You're not that fluffy anymore, little bear. They want to forget anything related to Karen. <laughs> I can relate. Why would Claire lock these up in here? Is that for mom? Huh? Let me see. Daniel. Come on. What's it say? Read it. Seriously, stop. Here, how about this? I've heard the news about Seattle. Please help my boys if they come to you. What? Why did they hide this from us? I don't know. You can reach me at, at this address. It's a P.O. box I use sometimes. What's a P.O. box? Well... A cop-out, in this case. I beg you, please help my sons. Oh, yeah, right. Total bullshit. What do you mean? She cares about us. Well, I don't. Maybe she changed her mind. We could try and contact her. You don't even know her, okay? Don't get any wrong ideas. We should just... Stick to our plan. For now. Can I read it again? Yeah. Then we gotta go. Thank goodness. Oh. Oh, shit. Excuse me. What are you both doing in here? Except visibly. Ransacking our house while we're at church? Daniel just... wanted to see the room. Yeah, I did. Sean, don't shift the blame to your brother. You're supposed to be the adult. Claire, please, calm down. No, Stephen. They went way out of line here. We specifically told you to stay out of I this room. I have the right to see my mom's room. This isn't her room anymore. There is nothing to see in here. It's time you learn to respect some rules. Actually, we did find something. Yeah, we found a new 
letter from my mom. She said she wants to see us. But you didn't even tell us. She's not my daughter anymore, or your mother. She burned all those bridges. One letter doesn't change what she did to me, all of us. She is not welcome back. It's been eight years. Maybe it's time to move on. Don't you dare lecture me, Sean. You don't know anything about how I feel. I can't fear that. Listen, Sean, I know life has been tough on you the past month. Bless your souls. And, and we put up with a lot of things. But that going through our stuff, our personal belongings, well, that shows you don't respect us. Then you act like I'm the bad guy after what we've done for you. I knew something like this might happen. Maybe you two staying here wasn't such a good idea. Man, I think I see why Mom left now. She couldn't put up with your stupid rules anymore. Oh, so that's what you think. Then let me tell you something. Huh? <gasps> Steven! Oh, shit! Get this goddamn thing off me! Steven, no! Hold on, honey, we'll get it off! No! Stop! Oh, my legs! Do it, Daniel! Now! Do what? What's going on? Oh, Lord, what... what are you doing, Daniel? <sighs> oh, my baby, Stephen, are you okay? Now I am. Thanks to Daniel. You were right, Claire. I should have fixed that cupboard months ago. I guess my laziness will get me someday. What in the name of God was that all about? That's impossible. What are you, Daniel? Claire. Listen, they saved me, Claire. That's all that matters. Maybe. It was a miracle. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's, it's the sheriff. Stephen? Claire? Sean, I didn't. We didn't call them. I know, Grandma. Sean, what are we gonna do? Go hide in the garage. No, no, no way. If the police searches the house, that makes the two of you accomplices. Get your bags and go out the back door. I'll distract him. Really? Yes. No. Get the hell out of here. I know you're in here. Your car is in the driveway. I'm so sorry for everything. I wish we could have helped you more. I wish you could stay here with us. Watch out for your brother, Sean. Yes. Be careful. We'll see you as soon as we can, okay? Thanks for helping us. Both of you. Oh, we love you. Now hurry up. Daniel, wait for me while I go.
This way. Why? Why did Chris jump in front of that car, Sean? Why? He's okay, Enano. The car barely touched him. You... You said I should be more careful. But... Because of you. I didn't do anything, and... I could have. Hey. You don't know what could have happened, okay? What's done is done. You didn't even let me check on him. What if he is... dead? Daniel, we don't know that, okay? So, stop jumping into conclusions. We'll catch up on him as soon as we can. I... I... but... But I need to know. You will. Just... later. When it's safe. Sean. I'm tired of running away. Why does my power always bring trouble? You don't have to use your power if you don't want to. But... I'm good with it, and I'm the only one who can do these things. I know, but... Daniel, you need to be careful and listen to your brother. You think we'll see Grandma and Grandpa again? I don't know. We'll see. Where are we gonna go now? See... See Mom? No way, man. We don't need her, okay? But... She said she wanted to find us. We stick to the plan. We go to Puerto Lobos. That's where we belong. No one will tell us what to do. We can be whoever we want. Y you think? I don't know. Trust me, man. From now on, we make our own rules. Look. I wanted to wait until then, but we kind of need a little cheer, so Merry Christmas, Inanna. For me? Thanks, Sean. Hey, listen. There's a ride. Come on, all aboard. It's me, it's me.